Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there. Today, we've got to talk about a, uh, a sneaker that's been leaked to us. You know, it's the classic sneaker leakers out there that are posting images of, you know, early samples and stuff like that. So, we get a little, we get a little teaser of a sneaker that's up and coming, and, uh, ooh, it's, um, it's an interesting one. I'll show you what I mean in a minute, but, uh, Woohoo! I was not ready for this. I don't think anyone was, you know, estimate or oh, sorry, guessing that this was going to come out. This is just uh, woo. <laughs> it's something. It's something. But it is kind of fresh, though. What am I going to be talking about specifically today? Well, of course, we've got to be talking about the recent leaked images of the Ben and Jerry's Nike SB Dunk Low. I'm not joking around, guys. I, it's, it's not a joke. This is a legit thing. Ben and Jerry's, the ice cream company, is literally getting a Nike SB Dunk. <laughs> there are like heaps of YouTubers, heaps of artists that cannot get sneakers. But you know what Nike SB's priority is? They gotta give an ice cream company a dunk. <laughs> I don't know why it's a thing. I honestly think that there are a lot more other people, a lot more other companies out there that deserve to collaborate with Nike and Nike SB well before Ben & Jerry's, but uh, no, nah, we're getting a Ben & Jerry's dunk. <laughs> it's happening. It's uh, well, uh, The images have been leaked to us. So, I mean, this could be an early work sample. We don't know when it's going to come out, but if they have samples that, you know, are fully complete, come with laces, have a box, I'm like well committed in believing that it's gonna come out like I don't believe this is gonna be a sample or a one-off that's just like gonna go off into the shelves or the archives and never be released if it's come this far from you know uh, a, a drawing to a real-life sample I feel like it's gonna get released but I'm still shocked that an ice cream company which I feel like Australia only actually got started getting Ben and Jerry's in like two to three years ago is actually getting a Nike SB a Nike SB Dunk. I mean, I want a Nike SB Dunk. And a goddamn ice cream company got one before I did. <laughs> Which is... I, 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 I mean, I know I've only got like under 2,000 subscribers. But like, an ice cream company, man? Okay. Alright. Well, I just, I'm just, I just, I guess, I guess I'm just jealous of Ben and Jerry's getting a dunk before a lot of other people that, as, I, as I've been saying, should be getting a dunk are not getting a dunk. An ice cream company's getting one. But, uh... Yep, Nike's definitely got its priorities uh, straight here, fellas. I know, I know, it's ridiculous. But anyway, what I've got for us today is a hype beast article to dive over all the images, any details we have about its scheduled release, whenever that may be, and I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on how they've actually handled a Ben and Jerry's Nike SB Dunk. Because in theory, it could be kind of lit though, but also it depends on how they handle it. So. We'll just have to look at some of the images. So, if you guys want me to cover more Nike SB Dunks and more sneaker leaks, definitely don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already, fellas. But, uh, let's get into it. Let's have a look at that Nike SB. Let's move over to the Hypebeast article and have a look at the Ben and Jerry's Nike SB Dunk Low. <laughs> Here we are. What did I, I told you I wasn't lying. I told you I was not lying. But look at this thing. And okay, just to like quickly go over it before we dive into the article and see what it has to say. It literally looks like a Ben and Jerry's ice cream packet or carton or whatever you want to call it. And I love it. I love it. I, it really captures both brands really, really well. And it's, it's a dunk. Nike SB dunks. They're meant to be crazy. They always go crazy with color. Honestly, you either... Dunks come on two different levels. It's either absolutely mental with color, or it's a nice little clean two-tone white and orange, white and blue, green, red, whatever dunk. It's one of the two. There's no middle ground. You either go full mental, or you go nice and clean. It's one or the other. In this case, they've obviously gone full mental, but I think it works. I think it works. We'll dive into what the article has to say about it, and then we'll dive into all the five leaked images about the dunk. So, images of a Ben & Jerry's Nike SB Dunk Low Surface, with just the simple subheading, Chunky Dunky. <laughs> if that's the colorway name, I love it. I love it. That's what I want to see. So, images of an upcoming Ben & Jerry's Nike SB Low 
have just arrived. Teased by SB Aficiard, Aficin, Aficionado, I can't say the word. <laughs> 94 underscore SB Chef, the Dunk Lows see the ice cream manufacturer's pale design transfer onto the uppers of the shoe. The green pastures and blue skies are present on the inner panels, while the pie bed pa cow pattern can be seen in the form of pony hair on the top layers. Ugh, sorry, am I the only one that feels that kind of way about hair on my sneakers? It's just, like, I respect it. It works really, really well because it's it's literally meant to be like cowed hide, cow hide. But like, hair on your sneakers? Ugh, I don't know, man. That makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't own any sneakers with hair on them. I don't think I want to own any sneakers with hair on them because then when you touch the sneaker, it's going to feel like hair and... Ugh, I don't know. Am I the only one feeling that way? Do any of you guys feel that way? It's just a little... Ugh. But it works really well. Like, aside from it being kind of gross, it works really, really well with this collaboration because a lot of the time, it's really not tasteful. They do it in the worst ways possible, but this is one of the few times where hair or pony hair on a sneaker actually works. I got to give them a commendable, uh, you know, thumbs up for that. All resting on a white and green outsole. There you go. You can see the green outsole, obviously, you know, referencing the grassy hills of the pastures that the cows graze in and a white midsole just because, you know, why the hell not? It's ice cream, brother. It's meant to be a white midsole. <laughs> Other whimsical details can include the rainbow lining, the melting swoosh logo, and on the tongue where Chunky Dunky can be seen, a play on Ben and Jerry's classic banana fudge and walnut ice cream flavor. No word yet on when these will be releasing, but stay tuned because we'll be updating you shortly with more info on the Ben and Jerry's Nike SB Dunk Lows. There you go, guys. So no release details at the moment, but we got some teaser images. Let's dive into it. It looks like it's coming with the traditional Nike SB Dunk box that we've been seeing in 2020. Um, maybe there might be a limited one because it seems like a trend with Nike SB Dunk Lows this year where they do a general release, which will have this box and a limited release um, with like a special box, you know, with one that's been designed by Ben and Jerry's as well, or a team that, you know, uh, takes a lot of Ben and Jerry's designs and applies it to the box. I, if there is going to be a limited drop for these, I reckon they'll drop in probably like Burlington, Vermont, because when I was looking into Ben and Jerry's, that's where they started out. So maybe they do like a sneakers app drop there, like a regional one. And do like a limited one there but again that's me going on the speculation that there's even going to be a limited drop which we don't know anything about so it could just be a general release in this box here now um let's dive into the details so as i mentioned it's got the pony hair on the cowhide um panels here it's got the green pastures underneath the swoosh you can see them here and the blue sky here so what i like about it is is that um, if you stripped away the cowhide, like if you legitimately took this cowhide off, underneath it is this dunk that is just like this landscape of like the windows, is it 95 background where it's just green pastures and blue sky, but also it is the Ben and Jerry's, um, the Ben and Jerry's iconography that's on their, um, cartons of ice cream and stuff, which is pretty crazy. You can see the, um, skies and stuff like that printed on the back. We'll have a look at some of the other images. Yep, there's the skies there. Nike embroidered on the back there. It looks like a slightly different font from normal, like a Ben and Jerry's kind of font, because you can see Jerry's just there on the tongue. And that kind of looks like the Jerry's font. I don't know, maybe they did switch it up a little bit. Um, you can see the rainbow lining and the rain uh, on the you know ankle and the tongue there. That's pretty wild. That's pretty crazy. Uh, you can see it comes with two extra pairs of laces as well. It comes with yellow or green. So if you want green to match the outsole there, or if you want yellow to match all the text and the swoosh detailing, you can go with either. And I think by default it had white laces. Yeah, white laces by default, but you can get some yellow and green ones if you want to match this detail here or this outsole detail here. Now, what I like is that the swoosh is actually melting as well, obviously, because it's ice cream. Very well thought out. I like it. Very nice. 
Uh, we've got a front-on view. It looks like the tongue is covered in hair as well. Oh, I wouldn't want to touch it, man. That's... Um, yeah, no, okay. So they've put hair all over the tongue. They've given it a rainbow uh, outline. On the tag, it says Nike SB and it says Chunky Donkey. I like it. I love the name for it. That's hilarious. Uh, it's got SB laces because obviously it's an SB collaboration. It's not a normal dunk. You've got the blue skies covering the toe box there, done in what I assume will be leather. Um, yeah, the actual attention to detail on this dunk is really, really good. This is actually up there, man. As much as like at the start of the video when I was like, yeah, it could be done very well, it could be done very tastefully, or it could be done horribly. They've actually done a really good job with this collaboration. Like, I can see that it's a Nike SB, but then I can very easily tell that this is a Ben and Jerry's collaboration. Because it literally, if I grabbed a Ben and Jerry's carton, compared it to the shoe, I'd be like, yep, these two, they're the same. They've designed them exactly the same. That's crazy. I really like it, man. I think, I, I, I don't know if I'd ever wear it if they made them big enough for me, if they made like a size 16 for me, but that is a crazy dog. As we were saying before, you either go full wacky, full crazy, or you go super clean and you go the, you know, the two-tone dunks. There's no in-between for dunks. You just got to pick one or the other. You go full psycho, full crazy, full mental. Or you go that super clean, two-tone. There's one or the other. And that's what I like about dunks. You can either go super crazy or you keep it nice and clean. I like the details on the clouds in the back, how they're embroidered. Um, I wonder if it's an extra panel, like if they put an extra panel of leather or if it's just like white paint and then they've embroidered it there it looks like white paint and they've just embroidered over the top of it either way it's a nice little detail um yeah all around they've just they've done it really tastefully um i just personally don't like um pony hair on my sneakers but this is one of the few times that they've actually used pony hair tastefully and all the details are really well thought out. You know, the melting swoosh, of course, it's an ice cream collaboration. You gotta have something melting on here. Um, they've got the green pastures, cause that's where obviously the cows are eating from. And you got the green skies as well. I mean, it's just, it's, uh, it's a green skies, blue skies as well. It's just, it's really well thought out. I'm, I'm okay with this. this. This is well thought out. I like this one. Sometimes night collaborations, especially Oh, sorry, Nike, collab Nike, Nike, Nike SB collaborations are usually done really well. Usually Nike collaborations, they're a bit hit or miss. But this one, this Nike SB collaboration, this is good. I like this. This is. I was a bit skeptical because the ice cream company and sneaker company collaborating together. But this is done really, really well, actually. I actually really like this. Um, there's not much else to really say about it. I'm kind of keen just to hear any release details. And I'll definitely make another video for you guys if we get more release details or if we get closer to an actual release date. But at the moment, I thought we'd just make a little video covering that it has been leaked to us that we are apparently getting a Nike SB, Ben and Jerry's collaboration, and it's going to be called the Chunky Dunky, or at least <laughs> that's that's what it says on the tongue. I want it to be called the Chunky Donkey. Can we get that going if it's not called that already? I want this colorway to be called the Chunky Donkey. I like that name. That's actually hella nice. This is really cool though. I want to know how you guys feel about it though. I What do you think of an ice cream company getting a Nike SB collaboration over anyone else? You okay with that? Or you do you can't do you kind of have some artists in mind? some other famous people in mind that you feel deserve a dunk before an ice cream company does. That's totally fine. I feel sort of the same way. As much as I do love this collaboration, it's kind of like, I don't know, man. I could think of other people that deserve dunks over Ben and Jerry's, but let me know if you guys feel that same way. Let me know if a couple people in the comment section you think deserve dunks over Ben and Jerry's. I definitely want to hear your thoughts and opinions on that. How do you feel about this collaboration, though? Now, ignoring the fact that we now that it's now a thing, how do you feel about how it's been handled? Do you like the pony hair on the cow parts of it? Do you like the colors mimicking the cartons the ice cream come in? Do you like the melting swoosh? How do you feel about the extra laces? Do you think there are awesome colors that match the details? How do you feel about the rainbow insides? How do you feel about that? Is that cool? Or you're not about that? You're not feeling this one? You do, are you more of a two-tone dunk guy? You're more of like the Kentuckys, the Syracuses? 
and you're not really on the crazy dunk vibe. I, I could totally understand if that's the case. I could totally understand. If I was given the option, if someone was like, yo, Daniel, you want the crazy dunks or do you want the two-tone ones? I'd probably be leaning more towards the two-tone ones. I mean, I've just, I've been set to that standard with like two-tone Jordan ones. These are just amazing. I can imagine the dunks in two tones would be amazing. Not that I would ever know because they don't make them that big. They only make them up to a size 15 and it just, just one size bigger. Please, Nike. <laughs> just make your dunks one size bigger so the big fellas over here could, you know, can cop them. But uh, yeah, I, I, I would go with the two tone ones. I reckon the two tone ones would be more my flavor. So do you like this? Or would you prefer a pair of like Kentuckys or Syracuses? How do you feel? How do you feel? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions on the Ben and Jerry's Nike SB Dunk Lows in that comment section below. Ah, man, I'm sorry guys. I wish I had some release details for you, but unfortunately the article only has some images. But that's okay. That's okay. We got to dive into what it looks like. And as I said, with like a sample this far gone, with extra laces, or like a box, everything like that, we can only assume it's going to come out sometime in 2020. I would be very surprised if this didn't drop this year. Um, now that we've got a full-blown sample though, I would give it about a maximum of six months. I would say about six months and then I'd be confident in it coming out. But at the same time, we do have to be weary because of the whole virus going on, you know, Corona be affecting the whole world. So I don't know. I don't know. It could be longer. It could be longer. Honestly, I don't want it to be longer, but it could be longer. But how do you guys feel about this? How do you guys feel about Ben and Jerry's Nike SB Dunks? Like I personally think the collaborations handled very well. I was very skeptical when I first, you know, heard about it. I was like, eh, okay. All right, um, I, I would have liked other people. I, I know I'm saying other people without thinking of anyone like straight off the bat, but there are like, you know, there are other big time sneakerheads. There are other big time music artists that you could give dunks to. Uh, there, there are other brands that you could collaborate with that could get or do dunks. And I feel like Ben and Jerry's is on the bottom of my list. I know I'm not providing anyone on a list at the moment, but do you know what I mean? Like given some time, I could think of some other brands that have been longtime collaborators or longtime lovers of Nike SB and Ben and Jerry's. That's just not one of them. But in saying that, this collaboration has been handled very well. I do have to say with the, with the pony hair on the cowhide parts, um, the melting swoosh, the landscape on the back panels there, you know, the green pastures, the blue sky, the clouds on the back of the sneaker, the extra laces, the rainbow inside, the cow um, pony hair tongue, the tag, this is Chunky Dunky. I just really love that Chunky Dunky name. It is handled very, very well. So I can't be like, oh, this sucks, because it is handled very, very well. It does look kind of nice. A little bit too crazy for me a little bit too wild as i said i kind of would like some just like some two-tone boys but some of you guys might like this craziness this is kind of crazy some of you guys might be feeling that so definitely let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below uh definitely you know like the video comment down below if you want me to cover more upcoming sneaker leaks i can definitely do that on top of what we already do and that's really it that's all we've got to say about the Ben and Jerry's Nike SB Dunks. Until the next video, until we get some release details, and then I'll definitely cover that on the channel as well. So, until the next Nike SB video, guys. Until the next Ben and Jerry's <laughs> Nike SB video. Till the next sneaker video. I'll catch you later.